Hey guys, this is the video you've been waiting for. Um, this is the installation of the Permaplug 2200-14 M14 by 125 spark plug kit for stripped out spark plugs on your Briggs and Stratton engines. You'll have an installation driver, you'll have your insert which I've already put on the plug and put your red Loctite on, you ought to buy some Loctite. But you want to use the red Loctite, not blue, not RTV, nothing else. Use red Loctite because it's designed for heat and pressure. This will actually withstand 3,000 PSI of pressure, so you shouldn't have a problem if you use the correct item. Do not use anything but red Loctite. Also comes with a two-step tap. You have to get a wrench. So this is not a standard top of the tap. Now I've already gone through and did it on the head, because you got to be very careful to make sure you get that in there square. But this first part of the tap will screw in to your hole of your old threads. If you have enough left, it'll bite. Then once you get down. The second part, you want to make sure you get that nice and square. Then you can start doing your tapping. And I would uh, recommend using a wrench to start with, as I almost went crooked the first time um, when I first started this. And then you can use a ratchet to get the rest of the way once you're started square. Then we'll just kind of keep going right on down through. It won't turn this easy, obviously, but it turns pretty easy. It's aluminum, it's soft, which is why you've got to be very, very careful to get this started straight. Now that we have our threads, now we install the insert. Now I don't know how well you can see it, but there's some little divots or teeth at the very top of that. You want to make sure you put them at the top. Put your Loctite on. You don't need a lot, just enough to cover the threads. And just use your spark plug as an installation tool to get it started in there. There we go. I suppose I should have a spark plug socket. Or the way I do it, is I cheat and use a regular 1316 socket. Okay, tighten it up so it's snug. And break it loose. Make sure your insert is flush, as this one is. And then we take our driver, and I suppose I should have a hammer. And da -da -da -da, we'll grab that one. Then all you want to do is tap that in squarely. Let's see if I can. You're going to be looking at an angle, but that's because where I'm setting you. Want to hit it on there nice and square. One, two. Now, head moved, but that's okay. What it did, I'm not sure all you guys can see it, but what it did is it pushed those little teeth out so they'll bite into the head. So there, that's how you do it. Nothing more to it. Now we can screw in our spark plug and we'll be good as new. Um, one thought I just had is maybe when you go ahead and do Hit the, with the driver, go ahead and put it on your bench so it's solid. It probably wasn't good to do it in the vise. Um, I just did that when I was talking about the video. So uh, that'll give you guys a good idea how it goes. Um, I'll give you uh, another update as soon as I get the tractor back together with the engine in it. So I did pull the engine. I, um, I actually removed a bolt that I got lost down the flywheel, hooked on the magnet, and I replaced the gasket in here so it wouldn't leak because I wasn't sure if it was. Then I want to check things out inside, and I'll be doing a couple other things. I cleaned up the block, cleaned up the tractor, it's a little bit cleaner. <laughs> I'm going to be redoing a little wiring and whatnot, but nothing too much. It's just kind of part of who I am, redoing things. <laughs> so I'll show you guys the top of the block and everything nice and clean, ready to go, except it's new gasket. Alright guys, catch you later.